Hello everyone, Mr. Bales here. Sorry you can't see my face, but it's more important that you see the sketchbook rather than my face. But today we're gonna to continue on with our prepared backgrounds. And uh, I know yesterday you watched a video by Mr. Storm and uh, about staining. And we're gonna be doing something actually very similar to what Mr. Storm did. Um, and we're gonna be using kind of a similar process, but we're gonna be using something as simple as a marker. You can use whatever color marker that you like. It could be black, it could be gray, it could be brown. Um, just know that the darker shades of marker work best. And um, any type of marker will do as long as it's not permanent. You need this to, so that we can kind of smear and smudge with it, all right? You're gonna need some water and then a paper towel. That's it, that's all you need. And again, a prepared background is just something that you need to kind of, um, that you can have to kind of help break up a space and uh, make it not quite so scary to get stuff down on there. So it kind of does it for you. So what you wanna do first is you wanna take your marker along the edge, and I'm using black, and you wanna get kind of a uneven, slightly thick kind of outline all the way around the page on the outline of the page. And I know that we've talked a lot about making sure that you work edge to edge, and this is going to ensure that you actually do follow through with that. If your marker is running a little low on ink, it's not a big deal. Just continue to kind of press through. And almost there. Very simple process, very easy to do. Okay. And again, you kind of want it uneven and uh, uh, so that when we go in and we, we, we add the water to it, it's gonna smear um, and smudge in different ways. So what we'll do next is you're done with your marker. You're gonna put your marker down. We're gonna fold our paper towel up and we're gonna use this as a brush. Do not wipe with a paper towel, blot with a paper towel. That's going to give you a, a much more desired effect. All right, get the paper towel and get it pretty, pretty wet. Then we're gonna start on the edge with our paper towel and just blot the edges and pull that towards the center of the page. All right. And what we're doing in essence is creating kind of like this really antique kind of border for your page. And as it continues to dry, it's gonna kind of almost give it like a, a little bit of a marbling effect. Okay. You can pull it out as far into the center of the page as you like. If you wanna go back in, it's a little dark for you. You can go back in with the dry spot and kind of pat that dry. I'm gonna do about half the page so that we don't take up too much of your time. Use the dry to kind of You do want to make sure that every bit of the edge is at least wet and have been has been wet down. Um, you don't want to leave like a super, super dark edge. Okay. And this is going to give you this really, really kind of nice marbling effect as you go throughout your page. Okay. So as you continue all the way around, this is kind of what it should look like. Again, I wanna remind you that dark markers, dark colors work best. So try to make sure that you use that. Make sure that your paper towel, and you could have one or two on hand, just depending how 
long it lasts. But uh, the, make sure that your paper towel is fairly wet at, at least one end so that whenever you go in and you start to blot, that it, it will actually bleed through on your page. Um, again, make sure that you do this all the way around so that you're working from edge to edge. And if you need to plot, uh, blot it dry here and there, um, feel free to do that, okay?